And hello, you archaeologists. I'm the Johnstruct. Welcome to the proximity. I'm about to begin an X-Files adventure. Apparently, this is by Hyperbole Studios. Well, the best studios. Oh, I've, I've heard nothing but good about Hyperbole Studios. There's Ratty. Let's, um... Get rid of our snail, it's somewhat distracting. And uh, hide this. And pay attention to the intro. That's Mulder and Scully walking in there. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. We'll do a proper introduction in a second. that dirt on the ground The truth is out there. So, hello lurkers. Welcome to the proximity. I'm the John Struct. And I'm about to begin an X-Files 1998 game. 1998 seven disc adventure. It's a FMV game, if you are unaware. You're all the rage in the early 90s, but um, thank you, Transponder Snail. This, I feel like, is at the tail end of them. It's a... Uh, what I've heard is... I don't really want to do this introduction again, so don't mess anything up, John. Um, <laughs> I think I might try the introduction one more time, I won't lie. <laughs> but I really like having the transponder snail turn up. It's really annoying when it doesn't. Uh, fuck, one more time. <clears throat> hello lurkers and hello all you archaeologists I'm the John Struck welcome to the proximity I'm about to begin an X files adventure by Hyperbole Studios, who are the best studios! Oh, I've heard nothing but the, the greatest things about that studios. Let me tell you. Here's a ratty. Love myself a ratty. Uh, we are going to have to get rid of this snail, for it is incompatible. Spooky, spooky intro we're about to see. And I tell you what, as for a treat, I'll hide this as well. That's Mulder and Scully. We're in Seattle, Washington. They're using their lockpick there to get into this mysterious warehouse. I wonder what's inside. I tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll stop talking for a brief second while uh, we let this uh, wash all over us and I'll, I'll, I'll reintroduce myself in a second, shall I? My goodness, is that dirt? Goodness, where have they gone? There we go. A 
cold open. And of course, the classic X-Files opening, which is going to get... Um, what's the word? On the Twitch, on the YouTubes. Uh, I, I, I'm sure I'm going to get a, a, a copyright. Not a strike. We're unlikely to get strikes nowadays, but... Um, I'll get a warning at least. We'll see. Government denies knowledge. This is classic intro. And the greatest thing about that is even though I'm I'm playing on full screen, and it, it's like, no, this is the resolution I'm used to seeing this at. The truth is out there. Right. This is the X-Files game. Uh, it came out in 1998. Comes on seven discs. Although I'm playing, I'm playing a DOS box. Getting this working is uh, not the easiest thing in the world on a modern computer. I will say, um, uh, when it came out, well, when FMV games were popular in general, I was but a child. I was, well, I'm, 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 I'm almost forty. Let's not say that. I'm, I'm in my very late night, uh, very late nineties. Uh, this game came out in the very late 90s. I'm in my very late 30s. Um, I would have been like 14 when this game came out. But FMV games, I think, got super popular earlier than that, like 95. I don't know. I'd have to check. Now, I tried streaming this last week, and the version of the game I had just didn't work. Also, it was like midnight, and I was very tired. So I spent quite a lot of time setting it up, and then it turns out uh, I hadn't set half the stuff up. I hadn't set up the screen, this wonderful um, uh, background, which is Fox Mulder's desk right there. Uh, and I foolishly turned the screen off. Hopefully it will turn back on when if I press the button. But yes, I'm just about to press the new game, all these. When I float over this, there's a little bit of slowdown. There's a little bit of noise right, right after every sound. It's going to be little things like that. I don't think we can help that. But honestly, this works surprisingly well. And I, I, it reminds me the feeling, the vibe I get. The little you hover over something and then half a second later it remembers to do something. And then it uses full motion video to change into something else. Reminds me of a game called Harbinger, um, a Star Trek FMV game, which I do not remember at all. Um, but I must have played. Uh, in fact, we'll press new game and I'll continue this thought. But um, I, I, it was uh, Deep Space Nine Harbinger. We may have to check that game out later. That is not the one I've got planned for next game, though. We'll have a little bit more of a stable game. They... Uh, I did not create a button for it, which is a shame, but I was going to show you the, the next game. Oh, bother. Um, never mind, we'll put the screen back on. What? what? I, I just spent five minutes faffing around and I didn't, I didn't make a button for it? You, are you mad? I might be able to alt tab. That could be an incredibly foolish thing to think for me to do. Um, I'll tell you what, I don't think there's anyone here right now. I'll do a cut. Right. I, I didn't need to do a cut. The button's right here. I'm just blind. There we go. Oh, my next game's going to be that game. It's a mystery. Of course, anyone who enjoys the X-Files will enjoy a mystery, won't they? Uh, it could be any game. But uh, before I can play that, I have to start and finish this game. Lovely. Let's press a new game and we'll continue the thought I had earlier. In fact, the thought I had, I had last week. FBI Field Office, Seattle, April 2nd, 1996, 9.14am, we have ourselves a PDA and a cellular phone. Why, Agent Wilmore? Why, Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from D.C., I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. We can answer either in a funny way, indifferent, or paranoid. I've got no reason to be paranoid. Let's be funny. Yeah, he's probably here to make sure we're not stealing paper clips. <gasps> we, we were sarcastic. Uh, the first time I got this uh, working, not on the DOS box, 
uh, this, the subtitles did not work and I was very grumpy about that. Also starring Jordan Lee Williams. Right, so that thought I had was after like faffing around for 20 minutes and then having, well, not 20 minutes, faffing around 20 minutes on stream, turning the stream off because there was no one there and it wasn't working, and spending an hour trying to get it working, a thought came over me, which was, I've played this. I don't know when I've played this, but I have, because I recognize this scene. Uh, I recognize that actor. I don't remember anything else in the goddamn game. I don't know whose door that is, so I don't want to go to there just yet. And um, funnily enough, I guess I just forgot. Like, I've got amnesia for the X-Files game. I oh, some supplies, some blank forms. Don't need any of that. And uh, I was just like, but I tell you what, and I'll probably do this anecdote again. I, I didn't have the greatest of childhoods. Who did, I suppose? But um, I remember, and I don't, I don't remember lots of my childhood, but I remember the games I played because they're quite important to me. Games have always been quite important to me. But um, what's that? Some Dunkin' Donuts. Still going strong, so I hear. The Dunkachinos. Uh, as you can see, we are using the mouse to walk around. There's some credits on the screen. A lot. I'm not really paying attention to them. But I am an agent. I am authorized to get this agent only stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out when I could have played it because there's different, in my brain, there's different eras. There's childhood eras of games. And as you might imagine, the easiest way to remember them is by houses at first and then by game generation. Like I, Xbox One is a generation, essentially, you know, PlayStation 2. Play, I can remember like that. But I also remember, oh, in this house, I played this. In this house, I played this. Uh, so there's the lockpick we saw them use last time. Uh... A, um, a flashlight or torches we like to call them in UK some binoc oh no no they're not binoculars they're night vision goggles who would need some binoculars what is that the evidence kit this might be a nightmare to play it's not the easiest thing to get working on stream but so far I think we're doing quite good this screen crashed on me when where did that go Um, so we have, I swear I picked up an extra thing. Uh, we got our evidence kit. Can't do anything of that. We have a camera, which we can take pictures of things. Uh, night vision goggles. This crashed the, uh, game. Four. And, uh, yeah, we can see ourselves. Flashlight, there we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, just uh, works as intended. Lockpick. Uh, we don't need to lockpick that. We also have, of course. Let's get off this screen. Uh, there is a story by Chris Carter. Yes, he does. He does the X Files, doesn't he? But not without the editing of Frank. And of course, these guys are actual writers. So, Frank Roach. You oh. I thought there was a guy in there. Nope, that's it was, that's my office. There is a sign somewhere. Let's try and find it. There we go. There were two agents, me and that guy we met earlier. Meeting room, which we just spent a while walking through. And um, so if we went through the door, that would have taken us into the file room. There's the director's office. Uh, I've heard rumor that uh, somebody wants to speak to me. There we go. Um, uh, Armistead Shanks? Do, do, don't they make the toilets? Um, it's a filing cabinet. So, I was tempted to send messages to my friends being like, Did you have this? Did I play this on your computer? Because I don't... Even though I remember being... Well, not getting much... I don't think I recognise much after the first couple of scenes. Hey, partner. How's it going? Wait, we have our PDA. You have mail. Uh, so, for all of you youngins, uh, mobile phones uh, used to... You couldn't do a lot of stuff on mobile phones. You required a separate PDA. 
And of course, this is the FBI. This would be the most advanced equipment you could get. So we have this map. Uh, I believe this will take us to literal different places. So if we want to go home, we use the PDA. You think we might be able to write notes, but no, I think they pre-write them. Because I can't think of a way to do that. There's our map again. What's this? Oh, Glen Albert. Um, oh, uh, that's our digital... I, I don't know the word. File, file fax? I don't know who any of these people are. Armistead Shanks. I don't, I don't know who these people are. But uh, we may want to learn these. Mark Cook, is that the other guy? There's fucking loads. Okay, we have mail, of course. We just heard that. Um, here's some free people. So there's um, Jim. Jim Sites. Rugby Rules. Oh, oh that's the guy. D did you see the rugby? It was great. I am not going to... I'm not going to read that because who, nobody gives a fuck about this guy's opinions on rugby. If, if this turns out to be vital... Uh, I'll be slightly grumpy about that. Hey man, how's Tang? Great to see you last... I don't have to read this because it's a literal message sent in the universe. Um, let's delete this. I don't think this is important. We have... It's interesting that you can. Um, Craig Wilmore. Uh, they've got a .gov, of course. Oh, I'm Craig. He's Mark. Together we're team... Go agent. Oh, of course, that's a lot of green shining on my face. Craig, it looks like we finally got a break on the pull tab counterfeiters. We should talk later, but Shanks expects us to have the case wrapped up in a few days. Just thought you'd like a heads up. Um, okay. I don't think that's vital information, so I think I can get away with deleting that as well. Mark, Mike Robinson. What does the FBI want with its case files once the cases have been resolved? I'd love to get a hold of one or two, but I've got an idea for a book. It would involve some FBI cases. Um, let me know. Who the fuck is Super M? Super Mike. Um, okay. Is it this? Super M Robert. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll leave that for the time being. We also have our, our cellular phone. Look, they, they might be able to play Snake on this. I don't, I'm not entirely sure they can. Um... Okay, that's Mark Cook. We've got to let him cook right now. Hang on, can I ring him? You have reached the automated messaging system of the Seattle FBI. Computer Network. crimes! Messages for Mark Cook cannot be taken at this time. Your number mm. has been recorded, and this call has been logged. Thank you. Okay, um... A boss, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's a partner, okay. We, um... That's where we keep the hats, of course. The United States Bureau of Investigation. Fidelity, bravery, integrity. That's, that's, um... Oh, yeah, I have to go in here. That's why they provide the map. Uh, Come back later, please. Well, let's go into our office. I did play around, which is why I, I did that before going in my office. Normally, I would not. I wouldn't risk it, but not for a biscuit. Here is a Catholic chapel in a small and poor country. I'm assuming that's like a famous painting or, or something. I don't know. I don't recognize it. What is this um lots of people playing piano some some old folks i mean f folks from the olden times which is everyone in this game i guess what the fuck are these pictures this is weird some trophies. Why do you keep them in the office? Keep them at home. 
Are they FBI trophies? I feel like they get medals. I don't know what this is either. Uh, maybe I'm not very cultured. <coughs> <coughs> I tell you what, my throat isn't very lubricated. Ah, I, I must sound like the smoking man. Who's a classic X Files character? Now, um, the, you can't actually play this game on Twitch. Um, Northwestern University. On recommendation, okay, it's just a bachelor's degree. Uh, I am Craig Wilmore. Um, um, it's not one of the games they recognise, so I'm 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 down as X Files Resist or Serve because that came out like the year after. It's not quite the same type of game, but I don't think it's a action game instead. I have no plans of playing that game. Um, unless somebody changes my mind, of course. Phone call? It's his family. Oh. Okay, well, we'll have a proper look at this again later. Did, did we keep, oh, we kept the files. Okay. Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, I want to see you in my office. I was just there. Here's our computer. Some uh, elazing, I don't think. No, not elazing. Yeah, v, v. V stuff. I don't know. Hello, Internet. Oh, I was incorrect. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Let's go speak to the boss. We had to solve some crimes. Come in. This is Assistant Director Skinner. Oh, it's the famous guy. Agent Walmore, sir. Two of my agents are missing. Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. I haven't heard from them in three days. I'm extremely concerned. Look, look at the folder. There they are. Mulder and Scully. They, he didn't say which one was which. They, they have access to a car. Okay, the sound is probably not supposed to do that. I'm sorry about that. Anything else in here? Yes, uh, Dana Catherine Scully. There's all the things we know about her. Uh, she's tiny. Um, and there's some confidential stuff. Is there anything else in here? Fox William Mulder. He is not tiny. He is tall. And uh, he has... A good, he. Yeah, there's more confidential stuff in here as well. Cool, that's... We'll go back out. Uh, they're, they're, they're looking at me, that's... I like that we get a picture. Are they romantically involved? Are they romantically involved? Oh, he'll say that. I don't know. I don't think so. It's, we were watching for ten years and everyone wants to know the answer to that. Uh, let's uh, talk to you. Can I talk to you? Can I switch it up? Should Cook be involved? Oh, no, hang on, I don't need to say that, do I? Should Cook be involved in this investigation? Well, it's up to you, really. You know the Bureau's policy on backup? I would suggest you use all available resources. Okay. Uh... What case were they working on? I'm not quite sure. What? All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Everett, Washington. These two agents were able to function with a high degree of autonomy due to the nature of the cases they pursued. Okay, this is very tiny writing. Can, can you, like, tell me what it says in, in bigger print? Oh, there we go. Yes, the game says. Uh, first available... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it is one of those... Proved by Skinner. Uh, there's some... I hope the times aren't important. 
Have they behaved like this before? Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. Okay. Um, there's a cut there because one of my pages uh, on the internet decided to, to, to take focus away and that minimized this window and oh, that whole thing happened. Um, have they been romantically involved in the past? Have they been romantically involved in the past? As I say, I don't know. I don't believe so. <laughs> okay. Where were they last seen? In my office in D.C., right before they left. No one saw them on the way out. Can I get their cell phone numbers? Uh, you'll find it in the dossier, however, they're not answering. Do you know of anything unusual in Everett? There's nothing that I'm aware of. What should I do with my current cases? Hand them off to Cook. I know he's busy, but this is priority. I'll let him cook. File an APB on Mulder and Scully. Then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. Skinner! Right. Um. Oh, wow. He has a service record. Um, I was trying to leave the room, though. There we go. So, okay. What's happening? You can't just sit on this. You gotta tell me what's happening. Um. A couple of agents have disappeared. We'll Barry be serious. Agency, Mulder and Scully, male and female. Been gone for three days. Make it sound serious, so when I hand over my files to him. Um, what is my password? this one of the oh you know what Elizabeth could be that um oh John Amos is forensics okay and Patty's of course yes police nice officer aren't we uh, I don't know what this is somewhere called Chilo That's probably uh Liz That insane picture. Is, oh hang on, is that a webcam? <laughs> right, we have a file, don't we? Um I wanna look at the case files. Oh, we have a badge, some cuffs, and a gun. Why can't I look at the files? Big blue. Nope, nope. I'll... I'm guessing. How to play this game? I'm guessing I couldn't figure out how to turn on this computer before. Well, look at that! It's one of those special drives. The big drives that they had to have. Um. Is Beth? I don't know how you spell that name. Okay. It's a bit strange we don't know our name, but uh. I'm just kind of annoyed we didn't look at the, th the file. Ah, you right click on it. Okay. Okay. 
We've got to hand these over as soon as I figure out how to do an APB. Some of these might... D Hunter. Uh, Mark Williams. Uh, just, just, just drugs. Lord's heroin. What's this one? It's the same. It's... Okay. So Eliza Eliza Beth. Okay, I'm just getting the spelling right. And of course my name is uh Will something. Does it, is it written on anything? You know what, he probably has things up here. Oh no, it's Craig. It's called Craig. Craig Joshua Wilmore. He seems like a sort of person who put his full name in. Craig. Joshua Wilmore. Eliza Beth. No, okay. Okay, I feel like getting into your own computer should not be a puzzle. Maybe we can ask advice from our partner. What case is she working on? Um, pull tab counterfeiters and uh, the militia group still active in the Northern Cascades. I'm gonna assist the DEA on a meth lab ring, but I'm um, handling things okay. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna back off in a minute. Can we save? How do I get back to the previous screen? Can you file an APB on Mulder and Scully for me? Yeah. Shanks wants me to hand my cases off to you. Okay. It might be an issue that I can't get into my computer, but... File an APB on Mulder and Scully, then give your current case files to Cook. A.D. Skinner will join you shortly. I was gonna say, the game could tease you, but like, don't do that, it's just pointless. Try my, my computer again. Uh, Craig, one more. Maybe I'm spelling that wrong. No, I'm spinning it right. Oh, I would have thought that would be his password. I mean, it'd be a stupid password, but still. Oh, 
not successfully out the door yet. Great. Thanks, golden boy. I suggest we start with the motel where Mulder and Scully are staying. I'll be waiting for you in the car. Cool. Oops, come on. How do I get to the car? Uh, Everett. Uh, commenting in. Still in Washington. Can I help you? <coughs> Sophia the go Gorilla? You sure I can't help you, gentlemen? Oh, hang on, I find I'm being rude. We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Can you show me some identification? <sighs> We're looking for information on two FBI agents who checked in here. Mm-hmm. And their names would be? Agents Mulder and Scully. Oh, yeah. They paid for a week in advance. Room three and four. Did you notice anything unusual about the two agents? Um, the guy was kind of <laughs> spooky. Other than that, no. Did anything unusual occur while they were here? Not that I can remember. Do you have the make and license number of their rental car? Sure, it's on the form, assuming they told the truth. Could you write it down for me, please? Would you take us to their rooms, please? Sure, come this way. Here we go. This is his room. She stays next door. Thank you. I hope there aren't any dead bodies in here. I got finals coming up next week. You can get in and out through here. Did they ask you to unlock those doors? Did they look unlocked? No, they didn't. Thank you. We'll, uh, let you know if we need anything else. You know where to find me. Is that some good, um, some excellent... I don't know the word, you know. Filmmaking. Why don't you start with Mulder's room? I'll take Scully's. So, I'm guessing we're... Because we're the local FBI. That's why we're involved. He's come here, and then we can... What's this? Magic bullet. UFO activity in the northwest. News from deep inside. Oh my fucking lord. Um. Okay. I'm not reading all this. We, we, we may have to. But the whole point is it's nonsense, right? Okay, we'll just we'll scan it. This page. Coffee machine. What's this? That's. Pin. Right, this is. Well, zoom in, shall we? It's a bureau file.
This could be more important. X272. Majestic cover up. Warehouse at Dock Railroad Connect Fox Smolder. My important. Keeping that? No? Some smurm of. Of. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. I can't decide if that's good or bad. I'm guessing this guy is also a cheaper actor than both Mulder and Scully. Um, Bibli. Um oh god, this could be important, couldn't it? How does she have a thing for all four pages? Okay. I think we're gonna be seeing this place later. Have you known them? Four years now. I've known Mulder longer than that. I guess it's been uh, almost six. It would be helpful to know what case they were working on. Yes. Yes, it would be helpful. Listen, I'd appreciate it if you didn't uh, refer to them in the past tense, huh? What now? Please don't do that. Do you know how many people do that with me sitting right here? No. Well, you're not the first. That's fair. What's your major? I'm working on a law degree. Can you remember anything that might help us? No, I'm sorry. They checked in and left that evening. I didn't see them after that. Hmm. How did I get? Okay, Ben. I guess there's nothing locking me to this scene. Considering I've got the PDA, what's on the laptop? Okay, Dana Scully. So we're seeing full name here. No, no, no middle name. If we. Why 
persecute me, it hurts you to cook, kick me against the goads. So I'm not seeing anything like marked or anything there. So, can we just sod off? We'll save our game again. Um... What's the evidence kit for? Okay. Pen, a knife, bags. The gun. Maybe we can put an APP out for that. We can just come back. I'll be reviewing my notes in the meeting room. Yeah, I want to know what my door said on. Where did he put it? <laughs> well, I did. I, I did have a laptop. It's gone now. Agent Wilmore, the prodigal son returns. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes. I bet you missed something at the motel. Okay. Hey, the game's got a thing. And, um... You want to get that laptop working. Call the computer crimes division and have somebody take a look at it. The rest of it looks pretty good. Cool. Thanks, game.
So where's I did I didn't even realize he kept notes. I made myself a cup of tea. Um so uh checked in, uh left that evening. Uh sunflower seeds. Oh paperback book, copy paperback book, I didn't see that. Copy of the newsletter, magic bull bu bullet. If case mod has been drinking. Pass through the door. Open by oh the passing door is open by clerk. That's it, that's all my all my notes. So let's phone up the crime lab. View. You have reached CECOM voicemail services. Voicemail for... Let's go to the crime lab. Encounter crime lab, Seattle. Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John, how have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I'll do my best. So, what have you got? You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. How's your wife? Ex, you mean? She's good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Yeah, your wife. Good, I guess. But we haven't really spoken in a while. Hey, don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. Well, where do I get that laptop back? I've got a return of a laptop. Why did he put it down? Okay, I could figure out how he put it down, or I could just load my game with it. Um, if you put it down, obviously you can put it back back up. Um, Oh, I, I saw it. It's there. Take it back up. Why have you put the laptop down? Try password. Then 
don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Oh, computer crime. Uh, 206555. Oh, hang on, where's my... using much more modern spy technology in my end. Uh, my phone. Six. Uh, five. Zero. Thank you for calling the Seattle Police Department Computer Crimes Division. We are currently in the process of upgrading our voicemail and phone system. As a result, we are unable to handle your call at the moment. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again tomorrow. Liar is not believed even when though he tell the truth. That's got to be the password, surely. Why wouldn't he know? Okay, you've tried too many times. The account name is Craig Wilmore. Password hint, your favourite Civil War battle. I fucking don't know. <laughs> English. I don't know any Civil War battles. Uh, it's presumably on the fucking wall. Is it this one? Shalom? Yeah, it is. Okay, fine. Services provided solely to assist with investigations governed by this agency. The menu is left to the left shows services available. Activity on the system is monitored. Uh, any inappropriate use of the services will cause future access to be denied. Okay, hang on. Older. There he is. Dana Scully. The same information we had before, of course. So, media. 
So any call, we should be taking photos on my phone. Where's the napkin that she gave us? There we go. Don't know how to uh, interact with this. Hey, in or out, okay? I'm trying to work here. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes. I just want to remember, be reminded of the first thing you said. I bet you missed second, something at the Something motel. in the motel, yeah. No, no, the other thing. The rest of it looks pretty good. I thought you told me to do the crime lab thing. I'm super confused now. Why? Why? I do, I do not understand why he's put the computer down. Looking for a book they mentioned. Paperback book. What paperback book? Do we have that now? Uh, 
Left Space, fascinating book by uh, written by science fiction G Jose John Potato Pie. You know what Scully's password is? I don't know. I'm... Try faith. It's going to be something in here, isn't it? I, don't, I still don't understand why he put his, the, the, the laptop down and just never picked it up again. Bear witness. Sorry, I was playing Elden Ring earlier today. Um, you got to kick in the goats. Okay, there's got to be some act, right? It's got to point me to an act. Well, there's fucking loads to read through. Hey, Mr. Wilmore. Oh. You. It's been a while. Hey, John, how have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I'll do my best. So, what have you got? You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I can't. Let's not lock ourselves out the laptop, eh? Do you know what Scully's password is? I don't know. I'm... Try faith. Wouldn't you hate? Wouldn't you hate so much that like your personality can be boiled down so much that somebody's like, yeah, their password might be faith. Like I know he's wrong, but like. A child, I said, don't do that. Do you keep a record of outgoing calls? Do you sure, for billing purposes. Could I get a copy, please? Great. Give me a minute. I want you to know you're putting me behind. Sorry, don't mean to bother you at work. Funny. I'm just doing my job. That cost them sixteen dollars. You have to keep this. Now my notes now.
We'll uh, trace local number using ing for Taurus. That, that's there as well. Cool. That's a... I think that's everything. You've got nothing up there. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, I think we have everything now. Do we get to keep that but not the Bible? Well, we're going to save our game again. Is it question everything? Or is that just something else? We'll go back to the field office, because he told me to do something, and then I just put the laptop down and just never returned with it. I'll talk to him as well. I'll be reviewing my notes in the meeting room. I don't believe we're done on the field, Agent Wilmore. Agent Wilmore, the prodigal son returns. I could use some help with this case. Okay, let me review your notes. You want to get that laptop working. Call the Computer Crimes Division and have somebody take a look at it. Computer Crimes Division. The rest of it looks pretty good. Okay, I did exactly that, but whatever. Seattle Police Department Computer Crimes Division. We are currently in the process of up... Can we go to Computer Crimes? It seems like the puzzle is get the laptop open, which like really confuses me that he fucking disappears it when he walks in the room. You have mail. It's occurred to me that you should use the... Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, of course. But that requires going into the room, and if I go into the room, it, it disappears the laptop. Uh, I was going to do that anyway. I'm just going to... I'll save it right here. 